Welcome to Holiday Spectacular Tim's Brick Adventures 2023. Hey, I know I've been absent for quite a while. <laughs> we, uh, Tim's Brick Adventures is getting ready to embark on a really big adventure as we are moving all of this uh, and much, much more to uh, up with northern Oklahoma get to go hang with my grandson every day and play and just have a good old time so it's exciting times but it's been a been a lot of work and uh, I apologize that I've kind of let things slide but I wanted to just touch base as we we're winding up 2023 it has been one heck of a year in so many ways um Probably the highlight was I was on Lego Masters Season 4, and I was very happy um, with how we did. It was the time of my life. Um, so many wonderful people that will be friends, family, really family for the rest of my life, and opened a lot of opportunities, and this year is just going to be continuation of all of that, and more and more conventions, and getting to meet more of you um in person so i'm really excited about everything that's going to be happening um this big move end of uh, end of january so it's we've been working hard um you won't believe <laughs> any of you remember my the other room where i usually shoot these videos and stuff it's completely empty all the lego is sitting on a pod but uh I just wanted to kind of start getting things back on track and, uh, and <laughs> celebrate the holidays and say Merry, Merry Christmas and Happy Hanukkah and Happy Kwanzaa and Festivus for the rest of us and anything else that is being celebrated this time of year. Um, I just want all of you to be as blessed and happy as I am. And uh, if things aren't going as well as they should, just know it always gets better. You just have to believe in you and rely and find the people that truly matter in your life and love them for everything they're worth. So anyway, I uh, really wanna talk about something real quickly. Um, L's gone bad. I've been plugging the heck out of that for <laughs> a long time and the conventions here towards the end um i have i had my jack frost headquarters that i did for a collaborative we did back at, for brick rodeo and it's going to play heavily into season three but because of the move because of all of that um season three will be like season two and come after christmas <laughs> But it makes it more exciting because I got a little bit more time to really amp things up with new new characters, new situations, and I, I got a whole big story brewing up here. It's just I don't have time. As we know, we got, what, three or four days until Christmas. So season three isn't going to happen in time for Christmas, as I had hoped. But just, just know it's a coming. And for those of you that don't know, Elves Gone Bad was a my response or my interpretation of Elf on a Shelf. My sister was posting every day these really great, funny Elf on a Shelf displays. And I'm like, you know, I could do something like that with Lego. And then all of a sudden, the whole Elves Gone Bad and the characters. And while I'm talking about that, I'll introduce them. Let's see if I remember. So the leader... And main instigator is Hondo. And he has stolen Santa's hat in the first episode, which you all know has got a little magic to it. But he's a very disgruntled elf. And not, not a new theme by any stretch of the imagination, but um, hopefully my little twists and spins on it will make it a more make it fun. But Hondo's the leader of this little group of elves. Um, we got his girlfriend, Luna, and she's a real tough character. And then we got Butch 
and he just kind of the muscle and the singer. He's a rapper, the elf rap. And I have yet to come up with some elf rap, but hang on. It'll, it's coming. And I believe I called this one Brooks. And he's in love with Luna. So he's tagging along, being bad too, but he's really not so bad. And these are the original Elves Gone Bad figures for season one. And then they were in season two. And why I talk about this is so what I'm hoping is between now and Christmas, you'll check out on my channel here. I've got season one and season two in a video format to where it reads like a book. I, if you hear me narrating and the pages flip with the images made all out of Lego and these characters and then the story that goes along with it. It is my sincere hope that everybody falls in love with it and it becomes a Christmas tradition in your house, just like it's going to be in mine. Um, I, uh, you know, I grew up every, every year you got to watch Rudolph. There's pretty much the staples. You got to watch Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer, Frosty the Snowman, Twas the Night Before Christmas, um, the Charlie Brown Christmas. Now, you know, I'm 56, so, you know, these older ones have been around for a while. There's newer ones that I enjoy, too. Now we got Elf, you know. But in, in San, the Santa Claus movies and the Christmas Chronicles and all of these great, great movies. And I just want my little story. Twas the Night Before Christmas, you know, this Christmas story. I really want this to maybe be, be loved as much or enjoyed as much as, as that is by was by my generation and still my generation. So um, I just, you know, share the love, share the love. This year, yeah, I'm, I mean, I just, this stuff <laughs> all comes about. I mean, my Santa got a cowboy hat, of course, Texas, and he had a bull, Brahma bull, but I made my white Christmas, white buffalo that I'm going to try and make a Christmas buffalo. So he's been riding that. And then... Of course, we had the, the wonderful Mrs. Claus. Um, and last season two, you will get introduced to what I call the Council of Claus, which is all these multi-dimensional. Yeah, yeah. Everybody's multi-dimensional anymore. So we got all these multi-dimensions. So I had the Centaur Claus, Mer Claus, who's like Merlin, the magician, the wizard. Uh, Claudius Maximus or Claudius oh, what did I call him I don't know you, you got to read the story but he was kind of a Roman emperor type I've got my English gentleman Santa who I this is probably one of my favorite I can't remember what his name is or like an awful head. and then of course I got the ninja he comes from a rather rough world, but he's very special. And then just plain old Santa Claus, who comes from a very parallel dimension that very much parallels ours. <laughs> and there's a host of other characters. Um, let's see. And we got the plenty of gingerbread men helping out. Even Darth, Darth Clausius. And he figures in good and bad. Uh, we got the the time wizard. He's kind of one of my favorites. And we got oh my gosh, here's a character from season two. You got to read the book to find out his name. And of course, the main I'm going to show off also in season two was the Ice King Queen. And in season one, we had Mr. Scrooge. And we had Detective, I don't remember his name. Oh, I forgot. So one of the bad group, we got uh, this rogue bounty hunter, gingerbread man who, try, who, who likes Hondo and helps him out with their hijinks. And of course we got Bobo, the Christmas dinosaur. He has a bow. <laughs> I need to get it back on him. 
And I'm thinking this year, season three, a couple of little spoilers. And this, wouldn't he be great? Somehow the, whatever kind of bird, the Christmas pterodactyl. <laughs> so I haven't decided if he's going to be on the good side or on the, on the Christmas spirit side or the ones trying to do bad things with Christmas. Um, oh, yeah, the fun thing. Anything is fair game in my stories. We got the Tauntaun that he rides. Um, I'm excited because this year, I mean, we have we've had the crystal wise dino deer reindeer. This year, I'm excited. I got one of these. Um, so this may figure into some kind of snow horse or something. I don't know, but it could be a lot of fun. So you need to tune in and get caught up season one, season two, if you haven't already. Spread the word. Share it with your grandkids. Share it with your nieces and nephews. Get them all on the story. It's on my YouTube channel. And I think I've got, if you go to the playlist, just Elves Gone Bad. It's season one, season two. You can't miss them. And uh, with that, I'm going to get back to what I need to do. But I haven't done a video in several weeks and I really I needed to and I felt this was about as good a good option theme as any and try and get you all ready for Christmas if you aren't already getting the spirit because it's a lot of fun and uh just want you to know I love y'all I appreciate the support and we got some big things are coming my empowerment of the brick I'm gonna get back on that I've got a long list of people that I really want to celebrate and uh Put in the limelight so uh watch for that and uh just lots of conventions coming up i'm already uh scheduled for a few um so tim tank <laughs> one half of the timinators will be coming your way coming your way this year so uh and brick fair virginia uh, fredericksburg virginia march early march i'll be there working the bling desk having a good time and hopefully seeing a lot of you there um and then well first it's atlanta brick con i'm going to be there uh as part of the lego masters uh, me i'm joining a whole lot of great people mark and steven are one of the headlines there uh cory from season two or season one um tacos from season three are there helping out tim kroll and his son um Zach are going to be there and the, the other Tim. So the Timinators reunite, <laughs> although we both live here in town. So anyway, we reunite in Atlanta, but it's going to be big, going to be fun. So hopefully I'll see a lot of you there too. And uh, a lot of things that after that and in between. So happy holidays and we'll see you soon. Take care and y'all come back now, you hear?